it's me Ace so I'm here to show you how I do my makeup I'm not really a makeup artist so I guess uh, this qualifies me to teach how to put on basic makeup okay anyway I prepped my my face already I applied moisturizer and one thing I've learned while doing this business is we must apply eye and face primer it's a must why to have like an even makeup application and it'll last you like the whole day you don't have to reapply especially if you're very busy okay so let me start um, I just discovered this new liquid foundation I was like very hesitant at first because I don't it just scares me applying liquid foundation I've tried it before it just felt so cakey and all that but this one with unique I like it it's very light and it feels like you're not wearing makeup at all so I use a blending bud I can you can use your 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 hands if you want to but I have like very what do you call this not very gentle hands so I'd rather just use a blending bud or you can use like a foundation brush right here so all of Unique's brushes have labels on them so even if you're a beginner you won't really get scared because it's right there in front of you you would know exactly that oh, this one is a powder uh, brush, the foundation brush, and this one is the blusher brush. So yeah, so just apply it all over my face. I look sick. I mean, I haven't had sleep. So my daughter has been, you know, sick and my son has been sick. So oh, joys of being a mom. So I concentrate more on the areas where there are dark spots and then I just apply the concealer later on to cover um, the darker areas okay here's the concealer that I'm using I'm using like a very light shade just because I have like terrible terrible under eye circles dark spots and all that the fun stuff Anyway, a lot of people are asking, um, I mean, telling me that, hey, I don't really wear makeup. I don't really care. Well, did you know that women have been applying makeup since, like, what, 6,000 years ago? Um, they use, like, castor oil and rose water and all that. There's this... Um, what do you call this substance? Coal, K-O-H-L. That's what they used before to apply eye makeup. So it's not an excuse. If you're a lady, then you should learn a little bit of makeup here and there. Okay, so I'm done with that. What I usually do is I use like a loose concealer powder just to set my makeup. You don't have to, but I do that. Concentrate on the under eye. Okay. And then I use a bronzer just to give my face a little bit of color. So do a figure three on your face. I've learned this over time, just watching people's videos. And then I am gonna use like a loose blusher also today, just because I want to try it just smile concentrate on your cheeks 
smile. Just give you a pop of color there. Okay, now the eyebrows. I am glad I have these now. So, tame those eyebrows first, get the shape that you want. I'm using medium color and I always start right here because it's the area that doesn't have a lot of hair. Um, this area here is like a little dark already so I just concentrate more on putting on the areas that I don't have much hair. So it goes here. And then maybe shape it a little bit. Oh, see? I'm no genius when it comes to makeup. I make mistakes too, but you can always erase it. Okay. And then I just set it with the brow gel, brow gel. You don't have to apply much, especially if you're going out during the day. Okay. And then, lipstick. So if you're not very confident with applying eye makeup, you can go with the Splurge Cream Shadow. I My go-to color is Elegant. As you can see, it's almost gone. You can use like a, a cream shadow applicator, brush. I just use my hands. The magic of the hands. So I put it um, all over. And you can be done with just using that if you're going out during the day. If you're going out at night, you can just add a little bit of color. I have this uh, Addiction Moodstruck Edition Palette 3. And I'll, oops, I'll probably use Tickled just because it's still daytime. It's the pinkish tone. I'll put it around my crease. You can also use like a, a brush. I'm so lazy. I don't use brushes much. There you go. Or you can add a little bit of color, cheeky, just right there. And then I always um, add a little bit of color right here to give it more drama. Okay, so what I used earlier, I was talking and then the video is like gone, is the lipstick color in upscale. So it's like a peachy tone with a little shimmer. What do you think? Okay, and I think that's it. And I'll just apply my mascara next. So after you curling your, your lashes, you just go ahead and do the three steps. Gel, fiber, gel. So gel first. And then apply the fibers. and then seal it off with the gel. Make sure you apply like a general generous coating of gel so that the fibers are not gonna fall off. There, and you can add more if you feel like 
you know it's not enough volume or length for you I think I'm just gonna go with one coat today I'm just gonna go to my son's school anyway so no biggie there one coat of the 3d fiber lashes plus mascara okay, another tip if you want your eyes to brighten up and make it look you know wider use like a white eyeliner so you have a choice either you use white just on your waterline or sometimes I use polish if I'm going out I'm gonna have like a date with my husband or something like that I use polished color just because it's more dramatic so either way whatever works for you use it I hope you enjoyed my little makeup tutorial and for questions Email me aceoflashes.com or contact your presenter. Okay, take care.